10 facts about the brain the brain is a very complex part of your body it has the ability to send and receive a large amount of information because of this there are still many mysteries about the human brain here are some quick 10 facts to help you understand the most complicated organ in your body 1. Multitasking is impossible, when we think we're multitasking, we're actually context switching. That is, we're quickly switching back and forth between different tasks, rather than doing them at the same time. The book Brain Rules explains how detrimental multitasking can be, research shows your error rate goes up 50% and it takes you twice as long to do things. 2. An adult brain weighs about 3 pounds, the cerebrum makes up 85% of the brain's weight, and the brain makes up about 2% of a human's body weight. The texture of the brain is like a firm jelly. The heaviest normal human brain weighed 4.43 pounds. It belonged to the Russian writer Ivan Turgenev. And the smallest brain, just 2.41 pounds, belonged to a woman. 3. About 75% of the brain is made up of water, this means that dehydration, even as small as 2%, can have a negative effect on brain functions. Dehydration and the loss of sodium and electrolytes can cause acute changes in memory and attention. To prevent any loss of body or brain function, take steps to keep your body properly hydrated. 4. The human brain will triple its size in the first year of life, a baby of 2 years will have an 80% fully grown brain. It will continue to grow until you're about 18 years old. It isn't until about the age of 25 that the human brain reaches full maturity. The human brain is the largest brain of all vertebrates relative to body size. 5. Headaches are caused by a chemical reaction, chemical activity in your brain, the nerves or blood vessels surrounding your skull, or the muscles of your head and neck, or some combination of these factors, can play a role in primary headaches. Serotonin is a chemical necessary for communication between nerve cells. When serotonin or estrogen levels change, the result for some is a headache or migraine. Serotonin levels may affect both sexes while fluctuating estrogen levels affect women only. 6. The brain contains approximately 100 billion neurons. These neurons are connected by trillions of connections or synapses. Experts call this a neuron forest. Information runs between these neurons in your brain for everything we see, think, or do. These neurons move information at different speeds. The fastest speed for information to pass between neurons is about 250 miles per hour. That being said, neurons only make up 10% of the brain. 7. It is a myth that humans only use 10% of our brain, we actually use all of it. We're even using more than 10% when we sleep. Although it's true that at any given moment all of the brain's regions are not concurrently firing, brain researchers using imaging technology have shown that, like the body's muscles, most are continually active over a 24-hour period. 8. Cholesterol is key to learning and memory. The brain has a higher cholesterol content than any other organ. In fact, about 25% of the body's cholesterol resides within the brain. The brain is highly dependent on cholesterol, but its cholesterol metabolism is unique. Because the blood-brain barrier prevents brain cells from taking up cholesterol from the blood, the brain must produce its own cholesterol. The brain's cholesterol is much more stable than the cholesterol in other organs, but when it breaks down, it is recycled into new cholesterol right in the brain. 9. Short-term memory lasts about 20 to 30 seconds, the limbic system in the mid-brain deals with emotions in both waking and dreaming and includes the amygdala, which is mostly associated with fear and is especially active during dreams. Dreams are proof that your brain is working even when you are sleeping. The average human has about 4 to 7 dreams per night. 10. A brain freeze is really a warning signal. Officially called sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia, a brain freeze happens when you eat or drink something that's too cold. It chills the blood vessels and arteries in the very back of the throat, including the ones that take blood to your brain. These constrict when they're cold and open back up when they're warm again, causing pain in your forehead. This is your brain telling you to stop what you're doing to prevent unwanted changes due to temperature.